A Morgantown man is honored today on the 17th anniversary of his death. Gene Vance Jr. was the first National Guard soldier to be killed in combat since 1969. Erica Young was at the ceremony and has the story. Local veterans and their families, along with West Virginia lawmakers, gathered here at the Monongalia County Courthouse to remember the fallen on the 8th annual Gene Vance Jr. Day. Gene Vance Jr. was a Morgantown native and Army National Guardsman who was also the first West Virginian to lose his life during the War on Terror. Each year, the city holds a ceremony at the courthouse square to honor his memory. We've celebrated that here and shown our appreciation for his sacrifice and coordinated with the, his foundation and his family and showing our appreciation for all that has been done and show our respect, too, for the, the armed forces. Delegates Barbara Evans Fleischauer and Evan Hansen gave speeches along with Gene Vance Jr. Foundation founder Michael Mintz. Mintz says this event is important because it gives the community a chance to come together to support the military. We see that we're stronger when we're unified. We see we can conquer battles when we stand together. And we appeal to the community to stand with us in our uh, reverence, not only to those that have fallen, but to those that are returning. Officials also say this ceremony provides an opportunity to remember our history as a country and to remind us to pay closer attention to conflicts happening now. Uh, it's important to recognize the sacrifices of veterans that came before us. Um, you know, as war progresses and the nation becomes battle weary, it's easy that we forget. And anything that brings us back down and lets us understand what people have done to give us what we have today, it's very important to take the time to do that. Gene Vance Jr. Day is celebrated each year on the 18th of May. Reporting for 12 News, I'm Erica Young.